Morning, guys. Morning, morning. Morning, guys. It's great to see you. Um, eh, welcome to session number 17. Gracias por unirse a la sesión número 17. It's just amazing to have you today, guys. Hi, Christian. Hey, Jennifer. Good morning. Uli says hello. Robert, thank you so much. Um, Luis, me, amazing. Mr. Chaco, good morning. Wendy, hello, guys. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How are you doing? ¿Cómo les está yendo? How was the beginning of your week? Espero que todo bien. I just hope you're doing amazing. I just hope you're doing just fine. Right? Um, this session number 17, um, vamos a trabajar un poquito with, el día de ayer comenzamos um, hablando un poquito sobre tecnología. So we were talking about technology. Algunos problemas que se nos presentan with Technology 2, cómo reportarlos. Today vamos a hacer una mezcla, right, de este tema que iniciamos hablando ayer, que fue wood, al igual que um, tecnología. So we are going to continue talking a little bit about this, right? So, ¿qué tal chicos? ¿Cómo están? How are you? Ya despiertos, ya de camino, ya duchados and ready to go out. O todavía descansando. Are you still resting? Con la cama pegada en la espalda todavía. <risa> Pero ya Ok. <risa> ok. So todavía no está up. Ok. But, pero está en camino de. <risa> no. Like, qué genial. That's just amazing. Que todavía puede estar descansando. You know. Alguien llama de camino, guys. Anybody is out? Eh, no sé, Robert. Me, no ah. sé si es mi inter o el suyo, pero no entiendo nada. Se me está quebrando. Am I breaking? Chicos, me estoy quebrando. Am I breaking? Bueno, well, de hecho, la cámara no me, no me quería encender. <ríe> me escuchan un poco quebrado. ¿O me escuchan bien? Hi, William. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Great to have you. Y de hecho, el tema de ahora tiene bastante que ver con usted. I guess. <laughs> okay, so fine. All right. Um, creería, Wendy, think, que, yeah. que entonces es el Inter, probably. Yeah, so probably that's the one. Guys, eh, I have a question for you. Preguntita. ¿Logren escuchar como mucha música de fondo o no se escucha nada? Can you listen to that? Yo no escucho nada. Great. Mejor. <laughs> ok. Lo que sucede es que um, son como las fiestas de mi pueblo. Entonces, desde las 3 de la mañana, there is music, you know, and, 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 and cuetes, fireworks, and all of that. That's why I was like, uh, pero se escucha súper fuerte. Ok. But nice. Se me escuchan better. Because it's like, uh, ¿cómo se llama este grupo? Um, Anissa Tumbolina. <laughs> Okay, so, no nos invita, vean. I mean, lo que pasa es que I'm not a fan of, of the, the traditions they have. Entonces, en realidad yo no voy. But, pero estoy como en la zona del centro, you know, where they are celebrating. That's why. <laughs> Aunque no quiera. So there are, I listen to all the music and, uh, and yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, guys. Uh, so today, vamos a, vamos a, antes de ya iniciar con el tema for today, eh, allow me just a moment, voy a pasar asistencia. So help me out with your attendance, please. So retail. And um, si podemos activar la cámara un momentito, so that would be just perfect. Eh, Cristian, regáleme confirmación, porfa.
Entonces pues veo a Cristian por ahí. Gerardo. Hola, ¿de quién fue la voz? Wait. Creo que fue Cristian porque no veo a Gerardo. Oh, Gerardo, hello, morning. That was you, super nice. Eh, Jennifer, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Eh, Jonathan, Ulises. Present. Gracias. Uh, Jorge. Jorge todavía no. Eh, Roberto, o el Roberto se está ahí, súper tempranito. Linda. Present. Gracias, Linda. Eh, Janet. Todavía no. Uh, Luis Mi. Hola, Luis Mi. Morning, morning, Luis Mi. Well, I see him, but he says by the camino. Probably he's just out. Luis Mi. Uh, Mr. Chacón. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. And William. Present. Thank you so much. All right. Amazing. So, guys, uh, thanks for your attendance. Gracias por la nice attendance we're having these days. Um, vamos a empezar a trabajar el día de ahora uh, con tecnología, but antes de eso, revisamos el temita that we started last time. Um, wait. Oh, okay. Gracias, Cristian. No worries. I got you. Okay. So, vamos a hablar un poquito de qué es lo que nos gustaría, right? What would you like so we can get familiar with this topic? So the question is, what would you like? Answer according to the picture you see on the slide. Primero, first, let's take a look at this one. Yo sé que está temprano, nos va a dar hambre and everything. But let's take a look at the following things we have right here. Uh, what do you see? ¿Cómo se llaman estos? What can you see here on the picture? ¿Qué logran ver? What can you see here? I think fish. Okay, fish. Um, Mr. Cruz, maybe. fíjese que lo escucho Girl. un poquito lejos. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Ice cream. Oh, much better. Okay, ice cream. Pupusas, donuts, mm -hmm. okay. fish, yes, marmalade. Ay, very good, and very onion. good, exactly. Uh, onion, casi, mm -hmm. casi. <laughs> yes, but no, it's not onion. Se parecen, they are similar, but this one is un poco más pequeño. This is a smaller. I'm not remember. Uh, okay, no worries, no worries, you're good. La última es? Garlic. Garlic, exactly, the last one is garlic. Okay, there we go. So guys, from this food, from the pictures we have right here, what would you like? So, ¿qué se les antoja? ¿Qué les gustaría de eso? What would you like from the ones we have right here? Fish y pupusa. Fish and fish, really, for uh, lunch. No, ah, lunch. Uh -huh, for lunch, okay. Las pupusas para el desayuno y el fish para el uh -huh. Okay, not fish for breakfast, right? No. I mean, I don't know. Hay países que se lo comen de desayuno, so that's why. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. So fish for lunch and pupusas for breakfast. What about the rest of you guys? What would you like? ¿Qué les gustaría para ahora? What would you like? Me está castigando porque tengo hambre. <laughs> okay, probably no sé, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay. 
I mean, I had, no, yo sí cené. I had dinner yesterday, but probably demasiado temprano cené. So I was like, oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what about the rest of you guys? Is there anything that you would like? What about uh, ice cream? Do you like ice cream? What is your favorite flavor? ¿Cuál es su sabor favorito? What's chocolate. your favorite flavor? Okay, so chocolate for you. What about for the rest? Guys, ¿cuál es su sabor favorito? What's your favorite uh, flavor? My favorite is cookie. So I like uh, Boston uh, ice cream, like cookie ice cream. ¿Lo han probado? Have you tasted? Yes, pero no sé por qué, pero me gustan más los artesanales. Oh, okay. No, I mean, es un sabor diferente. It's a different flavor. Definitely, yes. All right. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Mr. Chacon, what's your favorite flavor? Mr. Chacon? Hello. Hello, morning. What's your favorite flavor, Mr. Chacon? You don't have? No. But do you like ice cream? Um, not, bueno, artesanales, nieves. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, yes, those are using ice cream, right? Maybe handmade, probablemente eh, más salvadoreños, more handmade don, but pero sí, son ice cream. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite flavor? ¿Tienes sabor favorito? No. You don't have a favorite flavor. Okay, okay, okay. The second one we have is pupusas. Do you have a favorite type of pupusas? Oh, tampoco, guys. Do you have a favorite type? ¿Tienen algún tipo favorito de pupusas? Curry pupusas, rice pupusas, carrot pupusas. Okay, carrot pupusas. What about the apple? No. Do you like garlic pupusas? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the flavor is demasiado fuerte. The flavor is too strong for me. But okay, okay. The ajo con ayote. The combination. Oh. Sí, son bien ricas. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Pollo de camarón. Uh, uh huh. I mean, yeah, those I have definitely tasted them. But yes, okay. Okay, guys, what about the rest of you? Y los demás, what about the rest of you? Do you have a favorite type? No, really? Okay, probably not. <laughs> okay, what about the third one? We have donuts. Um, what about donuts, guys? Um, have you eaten donuts? Have you already gotten some donuts? Especially this month, right? That is... Uh, Dos al precio de uno. No much. Not okay. much. Tengo que desear una para de verdad. Mm -hmm. Okay. De chocolate. Okay, so it would be a chocolate one. All right. Uh, then we have fish. All right. Uh, this one that is definitely jam. And the last one that we have that is garlic, right? Not only, but uh, they are very similar, but the flavor is just different. Okay, now let me show you the next one and tell me what is the name. Guys, ¿cómo le llamamos? How do you call these ones? Okay.
¿Cómo le llamamos? How do you call them? Pancakes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Okay. Yes, pancakes. What about the one that is below? Uh, this one right here? Guys, what is this one? We call it avena, but um, what about, you know, the English name for this? Anybody, how do you say avena, guys? I don't know. All right, anyone else? Okay, I think these guys went to bed already. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you here. So we have oatmeal. All right, let me write it in the chat. So we have pancakes right there. We have oatmeal, that is this one, right? We have milk. The next one is pacayas. Guys, do you like pacayas? Are you into pacayas? Jennifer, do you like pacayas? No. Not really? Okay, so what about the rest of you guys? Um, is there anybody who likes pacayas, guys? Hi, Lourdes, good evening. Ulises, no, are you into pacayas? Wendy, not for you. Linda, no, what about you? I, I dislike pacayas. You <laughs> dislike pacayas? Okay, you no. dislike pacayas. Uh, Gerardo, do you like pacayas? Yes. I oh, like. you like pacayas? Yeah, Janet says she likes them too. Wow, okay, okay, especially fillings, como rellenos. Yep. Okay. Only with lemon. Only with lemon, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, wait, with lemon? I mean, las hierbas, so you boil them and you eat them with lemon. Yep. Oh, okay, amazing. So, okay. So I think it's not very common that people like pacayas. Um, William, no, no le escucho. Hace un momento le escuchaba como super lejos, but then um, creo que movió el micrófono y ya se lo escuchaba mejor, but I cannot, I haven't heard your voice so far. <laughs> yeah, probablemente creo que tenemos problemitas con el audio, right? And the last one, guys, is flor de sote. Are you into flor de sote? Do you like it? No, I dislike. Okay, so you dislike a flor de sote as well. What about the rest of you guys? Do you like it? 
I like it, but with eggs and tomato. I like her. Oh, okay. So, wow, interesting, Janet. You like pacayas and you like flor de sote. Okay. Hello, hello. Hola, ahora sí. Ahora sí, much better. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like these ones, William? No. <laughs> None of them? Pacayas, flor de sote, no? No. Ninguna, all right. Oatmeal, do you normally eat oatmeal? Oatmeal, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So you have oatmeal. What about plantains? Como los platanitos. Do you normally eat plantain? So that is plantain. Do you normally have plantain? For breakfast, for dinner? No como platanitos, guys? Normally breakfast. for dinner. Okay, for dinner, for breakfast. Okay, okay. So the question is, what would you like? Guys, if we are talking about breakfast today, so what would you like for breakfast? ¿Qué comerían para el desayuno? What would you like? Pupusa. <laughs> okay, no kidding. Everybody pupusas? What would you like for breakfast, guys? ¿Y los demás? What about the rest? Pupusa. Pupusas. No. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Do you have pupusas every day or how often do you eat pupusas? ¿Qué tan a menudo comen pupusas, guys? How often? Two days per week. Okay, so today is a week and today is the day. <laughs> okay, what about the rest? How often do you have pupusas? Elinda, how often do you eat pupusas? You know, I normally have pupusas only once a week. But, pero ahora que están like, oh, pupusas, pupusas, I feel like having pupusas today. <laughs> uh, so that is a bad idea. Okay. What about for lunch? What would you like for lunch? Guys, what would you like to have for lunch? Like a soup, some chicken, some hot dogs, some chorizo, uh, or something more healthy, like vegetables and fruit. So what do you normally get for lunch? Marucha. Oh, okay, super healthy. <laughs> okay, a maruchan for lunch. Okay, you know, um, recently in the supermarket, um, venden como un tipo de, it's, it's a sort of maruchan, pero es más como coreano. So I don't like maruchan that much, pero probé esas sopas, you know, like some days ago, and was good, it was really, really good. One is called kimchi, I think, because, you know, quería probarlo. Y lleva bastante. There is like a lot of it. The only problem is that no lleva contenedor. No lleva como el vasito, you know. So you have to boil it. But super good. You can, you, you should try it. Deberían de probarlo too. All right. So good. Now let's, now let's get started into this topic for today. El día de ayer revisamos un poquito de vocabulario, right? Eh, para hablar, number one, the word, de cosas que haríamos, que nos gustaría. Y number two, pa, hablar de tecnología también. So, ¿qué palabras, qué vocabulario se recuerdan el día de ayer? What do you remember, guys? Dimos la like, button. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más se recuerdan de ayer? Historia. Storage, ok. Uh -huh. Vimos storage, que es almacenamiento, exactly. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? What do you remember? Charger. 
A charger, okay, or charge, que es de cargar, uh -huh. Just Break, break, break down, o oh, break, break, que está como arruinado. Mm -hmm, exactly, que algo está quebrado. Gracias, uh, George. Yeah, that something is broken or break. Mm -hmm. So normally, la palabra broken no es quebrado, sino arruinado, as George said before. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más se recuerdan? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo digo que esto está sonando raro? Veíamos algunas formas de expresar los problemas que tenemos. Por ejemplo, en vez de decir problem, ¿qué palabra puedo utilizar? What word can I use? ¿Alguien se recuerda? Do you remember? Travel, Habían... travel, ok, issue. travel and issue. Exactly, ambas. Travel and issue. Very good. So today vamos a continuar explicando algunos eh, situations, you know, with technology. Y, and of course, a dar un poquito de um, recommendation as well. First, vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario. I have here some words. For example, tray, settings, appears, cord, and install. Eh, que son palabras que utilizamos when we are talking about technology. For example, in yellow, el primero que dice es, please open the to put paper on. Necesito poner papel, probably en la impresora. So, ¿qué voy a abrir? Open the... Tray. Very good. Okay, so please open the tray. Mm -hmm. Como la bandeja, right? So open the tray. What about number two? The monitor is not working properly. What can we use in number two? The monitor? Okay, so the monitor cord, like como el cablecito, right? Probably we can use this one. The monitor cord is not working properly. Like cuando la computadora parece de color diferente al monitor, right? So that can be the cord. What about next one? Change the to activate the options. So de esas palabras, trace, setting, appears, cord, and install, um, ¿qué es lo que puedo cambiar? What can I change? Para modificarles, I don't know, las opciones que tenga. Setting. The settings, exactly. So settings are las opciones. Your cell phone has settings. Um, your computer has settings. The laptop has settings. Que son como la parte donde usted personaliza su computadora, your cell phone, your printer, etc. So that is settings. Um, next one says, it, the camera is deactivated. So, parece que la cámara está desactivada. So, what can we use in that one? It appears. It appears, exactly. So, it appears, parece que, very good. It appears the camera is deactivated. Mm -hmm. Or it appears the microphone is deactivated, que no está funcionando. Y la última, I need to... A new Windows package. Install. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me show you here. So we have appears. It appears the camera is deactivated. Change the settings. Open the tray. The cord or the monitor cord. And I need to install a Windows package. All right. Guys, ayúdenme con un ejemplo con cada una de ellas, please. Help me with an example with each. No vamos a escribirlo, sino solamente open your microphone and intenten darme un ejemplo. Uh, for example, install, que es instalar. ¿Qué necesitan instalar? Podemos usar este mismo, la misma idea. I need to install, in my case, Photoshop. So I need to install Photoshop in photography applications. What about you? ¿Qué necesitan instalar? What do you need to install? Puede ser en su teléfono. ¿Qué necesitan instalar in your phone? Oh, I need to install the Chivo Wallet. Todavía no lo he descargado. I haven't downloaded that one yet. Guys, what about the rest of you? ¿Qué necesitan instalar? What do you need to install, Wendy? Ulises. I need to install um, 
editor de fotos. Uh -huh. Like a photo, photo editor. Uh -huh. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? What do you need to install? Hi, Jenny. What do you need to install in your phone? George, what do you need to install? Linda, Luis, me? Anything? What do you need to install, George? I need to install the Netflix in my phone. Oh, Netflix. Oh, okay. Can you watch Netflix on your phone? I haven't used Netflix in a long time. So I didn't know. No sabía que se podía ver en el teléfono. I didn't know you could watch it on your uh, phone. Okay, great, great, great. Now, the next one that we have is settings. All right. Guys, ¿qué pueden modificar en settings? What can you modify in settings? I need to change uh, the settings of my cell phone mm -hmm. for install WhatsApp. Oh, okay. So you need to modify the settings to install WhatsApp. Well, in my case, um, I need to change the settings of my WhatsApp, okay? Para cambiar la privacidad, to change the privacy, for example, or to change the security. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? ¿Qué modifican en settings? What do you modify in settings? I think nobody else. All right, no worries, no worries. We are going to check some vocabulary in just a bit. So let's get started uh, with the vocabulary checkout. Here we have a, a little conversation between Juan and Peter, que es definitivamente sobre la computadora. Um, so, hay bastante vocabulario, probablemente que sea nuevo, but es vocabulario super importante para que podamos comprender qué es lo que está pasando, what is going on here. Uh, first one, guys, antes de poder leerla, before we read it, quiero que identifiquen las palabras que son nuevas. I want you to identify the words, the words that you don't understand, las palabras que vean y, y no, las re, um, no las identifiquen, ok? So let me know, please, para poder ir seleccionándolas acá. Do you see new words? ¿Alguien ve palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo? Okay, I see Christian saying plugged in. All right. Encontraron otra palabra. Thank you, Christian. Encontraron otra palabra, guys. Did you find another one? Anything más? Anybody else? Comprendemos el resto de vocabulario. Do you understand the rest of the conversation? Okay, so when is it shouldn't? Eh, ¿Cuál es la palabra, perdón, George? Eh, George? Desktop. Desktop. Where is that? Oh, with my desktop computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tenemos otra. Do you have another? Ah, a socket. Mm -hmm. Sí, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So we have also a socket. Anybody else? Or any other word that you don't recognize? 
Bueno, de hecho hay varias, hay bastante vocabulario. There is a lot of vocabulary. I have tried. Ok. So I've tried. Como la canción. Ok. Ok, perfect. So let's get started. Vamos primero a revisar un poquito de vocabulary here y luego pues we practice this. Uh, Wendy, era on your laptop. O era otra palabra. Lo siento, se me fue. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> no, that's fine, that's fine. Pues un poquito, I know. Okay, no worries. So, la primera, is it plugged in? Ayer veíamos la palabra plug, ¿se recuerdan? Do you remember? Does anybody remember the meaning of plug? ¿Alguien se recuerda que era plug? No, not really. So let me go for this one. So plug is connectado. So Juan is asking, is it plugged in? Ya está conectado, right? I mean, a la electricidad, al toma. So is it plugged in? The other one shouldn't is para dar una recomendación de algo que no deberían de hacer. So you shouldn't, no deberías, right? A socket. Are you sure the socket in the wall has power? Socket, guys, is... No sé si logran ver lo que está acá. Ese es un switch. Entonces, está el switch, que solamente nos sirve para electricidad. Y está el socket, que es donde conectamos, right eh, La computadora, el teléfono. So, es un socket. Eh, solo enchufamos en el socket. Um, es el toma. Es el toma corrientes, exactly. Ese es el socket. The other one I see is I have tried. So I've tried, es como yo ya he intentado. I've, I've tried that before. Yo ya lo intenté, right? And the socket has power. Otra vez menciona socket como, y el toma corrientes, right? Cuando sí hay, um, pues, corriente ahí. Luego dice, I had a problem with my desktop computer. Um, so, tenemos eh, computador, una laptop, right? We have a laptop, como es la que ahorita estoy utilizando. But les voy a mostrar acá. Pero luego tenemos esto de acá. So we do have this one. Esta es my desktop computer. Como mi, mi computadora de escritorio. Right? So desktop computer. Right? And laptop. So esas son como las dos. Una laptop y una desktop. Um, antes tenía, eran como bien grandes. Con un CPU así enorme. Ahora tiene solo Chrome. O el, el Chrome funciona como un CPU. Es súper pequeño. No es pesado, etc. So yeah, pretty much those are the ones. And encontraron otra palabra? Did you find another word? Creería que no. Okay, so vamos a practicar solamente. Eh, repitan conmigo, porfa, y luego me ayudan a leerlo. Uh, frustrated. 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 Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. That is connectado, Plugged right? In. Plugged in. Mm -hmm. Next Plugged one in. is shooting. Shooting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Battery or battery. Battery or battery. Battery. Battery, uh -huh. or battery. La que sea más fácil para ustedes. Next one is socket. 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 Mm -hmm. The next one is wires. Wires. Wire. Wire. Mm -hmm. uh, have come loose. This is loose. Loose. Mm -hmm. Loose, right? Eh, so loose es como loose es como flojo cuando los cables están flojos when the wires are loose. O algo está flojo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's loose. And the, the, the last one that we have is saved. But I only saved. Save. Mm -hmm. Saved. De guardar. Cuando guardamos algo. Guardar. Mm -hmm. That is saved. Okay, guys. So I just need two volunteers to help us read it. Um, let me just go ahead. Ulises, ya está fuera. Can you help me? Um, algo, sí. <laughs> 
Le leo, ahí. Hola, hola. Hola. Me escucho. Sí, ya está fuera, ¿verdad? No worries, no worries, you're good. Ok, thank you, though. Um, let me see, let me see who else is still sleeping. <laughs> okay, Janet and Robert are out. Eh, Linda, ¿está por ahí o oh, ya está fuera, Linda? Gerardo, ¿ya está fuera? Or are you at home? ¿Todavía está en su casa? Estoy en casa. Okay, perfect. Entonces, help me, please. So I'm gonna have you in Luis me, Luis me, Luis me. Todavía está en su cama. Are you still in your house? Okay, so Luis me is out. Let me see who else. I can't escuchado. Okay, Gerardo in uh, George. George, are you at home? ¿Todavía está en su casa? George, George. Ok, I guess he's out. Ok, Mr. Chacón, porfa, ayúdeme con la parte de Juan. Help me out with Juan. En Gerardo, ayúdeme con Peter. Help me out with Peter, please. Okay. Uh, what's happening, Peter? You look frustrated. My laptop won't turn on. My laptop won't turn on. It was working before. I don't know what wrong. It is flowing. Yeah, I have connected, connected it to the main electricity, but the should be important because the laptop battery still has charge or power. Uh, are you sure that the socket in the world has power? Uh, try to plug it into a north socket. Um, Try the ready. Yes. And the socket has power and so that there may be a problem with the power cable, mm -hmm. but it's working fine with the other laptop here. I have a problem with my desktop computer. Last year where the wires have come loose in the power cable. Uh, so I had to replace the power cable. You can use my laptop to show it. Thanks, Juan. But I only saved the presentation to my hard drive, so I can show the presentation or your laptop. All right, amazing voice. Thank you so much for that. Now, um, let's take a look at this. The que están hablando? What are they talking about? First, ¿cuál es el problema? What is the problem? ¿Y qué es lo que ya hicieron? What have they done so far? ¿Qué es lo que ya revisaron? Por ejemplo, Peter dice de que su computadora no enciende. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it doesn't turn on. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y qué es lo que le recomienda a Juan que revise? Que esté conectado. Juan, que esté conectado. Mm -hmm. La batería. Que esté cargado. Uh -huh. Que se ha cargado, ok, ¿qué más? Que cambie de, de lugar de conectarla. Exactly, que revise el socket, right? Que revise el toma corrientes. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Que vea si no es el cable, es capaz de estar arruinado. Also, que revise no, el cable. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. It says that you have to check the power cable. So, el cable de que conduce la electricidad, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. And, and also, Juan cuenta una situación similar. So, what is Juan's situation? ¿Qué le pasó o cómo lo solucionó? Cambio de 
cambio el cable. <laughs> exactly. I had to replace the power cable. And it says, I had a problem with my desktop computer where the wires have come loose in the power cable. So I had to replace it. Pero lo solucionó. So at the end, eh, no sabemos cuál es el problema. We don't really know what the problem is. But, eh, well, I think that Juan's description, lo que le pidió que revisara, tiene sentido, right? Number one, eh, que revisa si está conectado. <laughs> no vaya a ser. Number two, uh, to check the socket, que revisa que esté llegando electricidad, right? O que lo cambie, so just to make sure. Y pues eso. And also the third one, eh, que revisa el cable de poder or change the power cable. Amazing, everybody. So this is just like very, very good. All right. Now let's take a look at the following. Um, tenemos here some descriptors. Ya me van a uh, ayudar con eso, no se preocupen. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay. Hablando un poquito de, de, you know, broken things, de cosas que no nos funcionan, let's take a look at the following conversation as well. Uh, so, eso es ya más específico because ya está reportando un problema. Yeah, so the person here ya le dice, uh, está llamando al IT department, al departamento de eh, William, right? And he's telling them like, look, no me sirve esto, no me funciona, quiero que me lo cambie. Entonces, esa es un complaint form. Or the person is complaining. La persona se está quejando que el equipo no le funciona. So, uh, William, please, ayúdenme. So, sí. William, you can be Mike para que ya se meta en su rol de IT. <laughs> ok. okay. And Wendy, ayúdenme con María, porfa. Ok. Hola. Hola, hola. Vamos, María. María. Thank you for calling me. <laughs> Hello. Dele, dele, Mike. Bye. Thank you for calling the ET department. Hello, my name is María Ochoa. I need uh, to fight complete about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very so yesterday and uh, slow yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. It didn't turn, turn on. To, today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in on time. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, guys. Very nice. Y de hecho, super directo, right? No le da como mucho detalle, so it's not asking for much things. So let's take a look at this one. Number one, le pide que describe el problema. Please describe the problem. Y ella lo describió super sencillo, eh, sencillo, right? It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't turn on. Ya no me encendió, right? Um, and just the IT person said, okay, no worries. I'm going to send someone with a complaint form. Que es para cambio, right? Uh, ya un, un formulario de, de quejas. We can send a new computer in no time. Y ya le vamos a enviar la computadora. So very easy, right? We are talking about broken things. Um, para el día de ayer les pedí que me trabajaran una tareita, no sé si la lograron hacer, y si no, ya la vamos a completar. We're going to complete it right now. So talking about this, talking about eh, complaining, you know, and things like those, revisemos lo siguiente. El día de ayer les pedí que eh, escogieran un piece of equipment, podría ser, no sé, una printer, algo que está arruinado. A printer, a laptop, a desktop, a cell phone, right? Eh, y, e íbamos a escribir cuatro o cinco requests, lo íbamos a hacer solos para luego compartirlo, que es este ejercicio que vimos el día de ayer. Guys, ¿lo lograron terminar? Do you have it? 
¿Necesitan tiempo para hacerlo? Do you need some time? ¿O lo compartimos ya? Can we share that right now? Uh, ¿Quién logró escribirlo? Who wrote it? Creo que nadie. <laughs> ok, guys, let's do the following. No sé, el silencio es como demasiado, you know, completely full. <laughs> ok, revisemos esto. It says, imagine a, a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Imagínense que algo no funciona, right? Again, broken no es quebrado, sino que no funciona. Imagine that something is broken in your workplace. A piece of equipment puede ser cualquier cosa, un aire acondicionado, una refrigeradora, a computer. Eh, si las puertas, por ejemplo, son automáticas, no funciona la puerta automática. I don't know. And write four to five requests. Y vamos a escribir cuatro o cinco cosas que nos gustaría cambiar o fueran diferentes. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Utilizando would like, right? So, what can I use here? Well, mi aire acondicionado no funciona ahorita, de hecho. Um, so, I would like to fix the AC, but it is too expensive. So, I would like to fix the AC. Me gustaría revisar o arreglar el aire uh, um, acondicionado, right? El que compré está muy, barat, muy baratito. So, me hubiera gustado... <coughs> Uh, o me gustaría comprar uno que sea de mejor calidad, probable. So, I would like, I would like to buy a better AC, right? Uh, ¿Qué otro request podríamos tener para el AC? Ayúdenme con el aire acondicionado, guys. ¿Qué más puede ser diferente? ¿Qué más puedo tener como request? Que no bote agua. Ah, ok. So, I would like, I would like my AC to be dry. Me gustaría que, uh -huh. oh, perdón, fry, no. I would like my AC to be dry, que esté seco. Uh -huh. To be dry o que no esté leaking some water. ¿Qué más, guys? ¿Qué otro request podemos tener? No sé, tal vez que tenga que algún modo ahorro, ahorro activo. Como, por ejemplo, hay refis que son como ahorrativas o lavadoras. Uh -huh. Como un sistema de ahorro. So, I would like to buy an echo an echo a claro of course we can say that so i would like to buy an echo a mm -hmm. very nice creo que escuché a alguien más por ahí i think i heard somebody else mr chacón no sé si era usted o era cristian i'm not sure No, ok. <laughs> so, um, but esto es con respecto al, eh, al air conditioning, right? This is about my air conditioning because it is broken. Now, quiero que seleccionen uno. Quiero que seleccionen un, una pieza de, eh, puede ser anything, you know, cualquier tipo de equipment que tengan en el trabajo, algo que no les esté funcionando, o invéntense que no les esté funcionando. Si no encuentran nada, podemos cambiarlo a la casa, right? Piensen en cosas que no le funcionan en la casa y qué tipo de cosas les gustaría que fueran diferentes acá. Eh, your microwave, el microondas, las... Eh, eh, ya, yeah, el, el microondas, la blender, por ejemplo, etc. So, what would you like? Tenemos cinco minutitos. Escríbanlo, please. Write it down. Eh, si no necesitan escribirlo, si lo pueden hacer así, mucho mejor, right? Sin escribirlo. Either way, I'm going to give you five minutes.
Hello. Sorry guys, I was in mute. Okay, so, ¿está listos? Are you ready? Ya tenemos parte de los, um, de los requests for your broken equipment. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, nice. So, now, now that I have you, let's get started with you, right? Um, Okay, so tell us what requests do you have for your broken equipment? Tell us, William, cuéntenos de sus requests. Mm, bueno, yo en sí no puse algo que está quebrado, sino que algo que me da problema. Uh, okay, no worries. That's perfect. Uh, bueno, uh, I would like to fix my internet because it gives me a lot of problems. 
<laughs> what type of problems do you get with your internet? Uh, I would like my internet to have more storage capacity. Mm -hmm. I would like my internet, internet to have a faster download speed. Mm -hmm. I would like my internet to have better covers. Mm -hmm. And I would like my internet to be wireless. Oh, okay, nice, I like it, that sounds amazing. I would like my internet to be faster. <laughs> okay, so especially, no le descarga, no the downloading, but the uploading, la subida, yo tengo problemas con subidas. Um, especially because um, subo videos, I am uploading videos and they take forever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, thank you so much. Gerardo, ¿tiene listas las suyas? Do you have yours ready? Buenos días. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Yes, I am ready. My computer, bueno, my laptop, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Because the cable is, is broken and the ba battery, battery, como se dice? The ba battery or battery. Mm -hmm. ba battery is the same. No, it doesn't work. Uh, it, it don't charge mm -hmm. the battery. Ya no agarra carga, ¿cómo se dice? It doesn't charge. Mm -hmm. The battery is broken. You can say the battery is broken. <laughs> yeah. um, the mouse, mm -hmm. uh, the pouch don't, don't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Amazing. Thanks a lot for that. Okay, okay, perfect. I think we got it. Uh, thank you. I like the description. I like the way you explained that to us. Um, creo que Jennifer tiene problemitas. Um, okay. Uh, anybody else? ¿Quién está listo, guys? Who is ready? Solo explíquenos, you know, what is going on. Mm -hmm. Um yes. Um PS PS PS3 um play play 3. I would like to buy PS4. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, I would like a much storage. Mm -hmm. I would like a very joystick. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, in other words, lo quiere cambiar. Yeah. <laughs> you want to yeah. change it. You don't want it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, you want to get a better joystick. Uh, you want to get better graphics, I imagine. More yeah. storage. Okay. Great, great, great. Thank you. Anybody else who wants to go next? Siguiente girls, boys, Cristian, no sé si ya llegó Cristian, todavía está en el camino. Ok, I think he's on his way. Um, let me see. Linda, no he escuchado a Linda ahora. I haven't heard Linda today. Linda, Linda, George, Luis, me, Luis, me, Luis, me, Mr. Chacón, hablando de sus problemas, porfa, talk about your problems. Okay. Eh, bueno, bueno. Medio breve, quizá. <ríe> Algo que me pasó hace poco. 
Uh, I, I would like to repair the shower. Uh, I would like to put a bigger shower. Uh, I would like to buy a shower uh, that has the option to, to change from good to hot water. Amazing. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So you would like to get the, the oh, to change the temperature. Yes. Okay, super genial, that's amazing. Okay, very, very cool. I would like that too. <laughs> okay. okay. Super genial, I think that is really good. Can you buy, can you get them? No son eléctricos. What? Are they electric? Uh, no, man. Normal. Okay. I mean, pero pensé que eran eléctricos. Like you connected them y ellos cambiaban la temperatura. Ah, la ducha, sí, sí. Lleva conexión, sí. Yeah, right. Ajá, uh -huh. son eléctricos. Uh -huh. Sí. Yeah, pero súper genial. Por el cambio de temperatura. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, de lo contrario, toca de la, de la pila. <laughs> Okay, like very cold yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, very cold. Okay, thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you. Next person who goes next. Wendy, ¿está lista? Are you ready? Ya, yeah, por afuera, Wendy. Creo que algunos ya van de camino también. I think some of you are on your way. Okay, guys, let's move on then. Uh, in the meantime, while everybody comes back. And here, tenemos lo siguiente. Ahora vamos a hacer un breve, uh, una combinación de todo, you know. Putting together wood y putting together no, some not ready, Oh, okay. Ya va para afuera, Miss? Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. No worries. So let's take a look at the following questions we have right here. What would you like to do in the future? Guys, ¿qué les gustaría hacer en el futuro? What would you like to do in five years, in 10 years? ¿A dónde les gustaría estar? Where would you like to be? In what country? In what position? In what company? Uh, where would you like to travel? In the future, ¿dónde les gustaría viajar? So I would like to travel to, I don't know, maybe uh, Korea. So I really like Korea's culture. So I would like to travel to Korea and I would like to travel to Peru, you know? And if you have any plans, please tell us. What would you like to eat for dinner or for breakfast? Yeah, si no desayunado especialmente. And what hobby would you like to do? So que hobby les gustaría hacer en el futuro, right? So what hobby or, or ahora, what hobby would you like to do? In my case, for example, um, I have siempre querido aprender guitarra. So I would like to learn how to play the guitar. Porque solo me puede el do re. <laughs> so I would like to learn how to play the guitar. Y me gustaría aprender canto. So I would like to learn how to sing, you know. Um, but what about you guys? So what would be your the hobby, right? Uh, that you would like to learn in the future. So, denme un par de segunditos. Vamos, vamos a discutirles en grupos. Les pueden tomar captura. You can take a picture antes de irnos. And then we go ahead and practice this a little bit. Okay. I think it works. So, los voy a invitar a que nos unamos, guys. Uh, vamos a las sesiones. Guys, uh, utilicemos las sesiones para practicar, you know. Hablemos, intentemos describir las cosas en inglés. No se me queden calladitos, por favor. Try to speak as much as you can. And vámonos. Let's go there, please. Tenemos un par de minutos. We have some minutes.
um, hi William, hi Janet. William, no estoy segura, pero creo que Janet va de camino y a su trabajo. Ah, ok. No sé si, si... Hola, Janet. Hola. Miss, ya está fuera, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, voy de camino. Sí, es que Robert me, me comentó. Ok. Bye, Miss. No se preocupe. Gracias por quedarse como oyente. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so uh, that's fine, William, so I can practice with you in the meantime. So tell me, William, what are your, what do you, what would you like to do in the future? What are your plans for the future? In the future, I would like, uh, I would like to travel around the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you say around the world, um, that is big. <laughs> okay, so that is difficult sometimes. Not impossible, difficult. So is there any country, a specific country, that you say, I really want to go to this country? I would like to travel um, Spain, London, um, mm -hmm. Greece, Japan. Mm -hmm. Um, only that. Okay, so why would you like to go to Japan? Sorry? Why? Why would you like to go to Japan? Mm, because for the culture. Okay, any specific thing about the culture? Mm, uh, Maybe, um, ¿cómo se le llama? Ay, como la arquitectura del lugar. Um, architecture, buildings. Sí, ajá, uh -huh, eso. Okay, so the buildings, los edificios. Sí. Okay, okay, perfect. I would like to go to Japan. I have to be really honest with you. And it is because of the anime. The only reason why I would go to Japan is because um, because of the yeah because of the anime <laughs> and and the and the, um, and the culture because I think that Japan has a really rich culture. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's the only thing. Mm -hmm. decir también el anime, pero no quería ir muy otaku. <laughs> Where? Quería decir también el anime, pero no me quería oír muy otaku. Oh, do, do you like anime then? Yes. Oh, okay. What is your favorite? Um, Kimetsu no Yaiba. And in the Spanish, that is? <laughs> Demon Slayer. Demon. Oh, I have heard about Demon Slayer, but I have never seen it. Uh, is it good? It's good. Really good. Uh, okay, well, I yeah, to be honest, I have never seen that one. Hmm. Debería verlo. I have seen, let me see. The last one I saw was, um, let me see, let me see. Oh my God, what was the last I saw? I don't remember the name, I have to be honest, but it was about a, a boy. Um, he, he's like he had a curse, tenía una maldición, there was a curse upon him, and his body disappeared because his body was given to different uh, demons. So um, he had to kill the demons to recover parts of his body and to become a normal person again. I don't, I don't remember the name, I have to be honest, but it was cool. I don't like anime that much, especially the long ones. I'm like, eh, you know, but I saw it like one year ago and there is a movie too. I didn't know that it was a movie. So, but I don't remember the name, but it was very interesting because for example, he didn't have an arm, he didn't have a leg, 
he didn't have eyes, he didn't have a heart. So when he was killing these, these monsters, let's say, he was recovering and becoming human. So uh, that was crazy. The idea was super crazy, but it was great. <laughs> Sí, I think it was good. <laughs> Let me look for it because I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. What about so in the future you see yourself like traveling? What else? Do you have any other plan? Uh, maybe I mm, I would like um, a new a new home. Mm -hmm. Like your own. What? Like your own. No, no, no. I I would like to buy new a new home, a new house. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, I mean no, no, no. You're good. You're good. Uh, I mean like your own, como el suyo, ya el propio. Oh yes. Okay, like your own. Mm -hmm. El suyo, like your own es como el suyo. My own. Okay. Normally we say my own como el mío, right? Algo que me pertenece. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. That is great. That is really good. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Any other plan that you have? Um. Maybe I would like to buy a new car in a specific uh, Honda Civic. <laughs> Honda. <laughs> okay, don't buy a Honda. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, nice, nice. Hondas are beautiful, but they are... Um, Spare parts are too expensive. Sí, así me han dicho. Mm, by experience. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you because of experience. Mm -hmm. So that is really expensive. Um, so if you are planning to get a, a Honda, uh, I recommend you que no esté como muy, muy viejito. Mm -hmm. So I recommend that, that it is mm, like a recent one, you know because the problem is that they are very expensive the, the spare parts especially Cuando le toca sí. cambio, mm, that's a lot of money okay oh okay okay no, no mucho. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah no i mean because i i know some people who um who like the oil the clásico yeah, the classic ones like 90s, 80s, uh -huh. but it's more complicated. All right, cool. So you want to buy your house, you want to get a car, you want to travel, which is amazing. Okay, what about, well, the second question you told me already, where would you like to travel, right? So do you have any plan for any specific country? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like like to be the first. Do you have any any plan for it to be the first? Mm, maybe maybe travel for Spain because I se me olvida cómo se dice conocer. Uh, no. I know, I know the Stadium Santiago del Mayo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so you want to go to the stadium? That's it? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I want to go to Spain, but because of the buildings. <laughs> so I want to go to, to see all these uh, buildings. All right. Hi, Wendy. Well, I think Wendy. Hi, Miss. Sorry. Hello, Miss. No worries. Usted está fuera, right? You're out. Yeah, I think she's out. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, let's go on with the next one. I mean, yeah, my, my plan is probably a, a country that I want to visit is Peru. So I'm planning to, to go to Peru soon, you know, really, really soon. Hopefully this year, now this year now, ya se terminó, probably the following year. So I think I'll, I'll be going there. All right. What about the next one? Um, hi, George. Morning. What about the next one? What would you like to eat for dinner? So what would you like to have for dinner? Uh, William, let's go back with you. <laughs> I think these guys are on their way. So what are you having for dinner today? I think I lost William too. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Sorry. Thank you. No worries. Are you a start? Are you a, uh, will you start working today early? No. Yes. What time are you working? Uh, 10 a.m. What time, I'm sorry? 10 a.m. Oh, okay. No, I better say temprano. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, that's not early. Probably early is like six, seven. A veces he visto a Gerardo bien tempranito working. Creo que también a Luis me. So like, I don't know what time they start working. Probably six or seven. Mm -hmm. No, but come on. <laughs> Es que el horario normal es de 10 a 7. Hay veces que sí entramos más temprano, pero ajá, para mí temprano es a las 10. Oh, ok. Ah, está en la pregunta 3, dice, ¿verdad? Uh, yes, what would you like to eat for dinner? Uh -huh. Que me antojan unas camisas del pulpario. Uh, some, some what? Alitas de Buffalo Wings. Oh, I no kidding. <laughs> I was I was thinking about it yesterday. I was like, I want wings. I, I want wings, but I'm on a diet, so no wings. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally get you. All right, guys, uh, let, let's go back to the main station. I think some you know are right there. So give me one second. Hold on, hold on. right guys so thanks a lot for coming back we were talking a little bit about uh, some of these questions right and of course i would like to listen to your opinion right here so help me with the first one it says there what would you like to do in the future guys do you have any plans already what would you like to do in the future que les gustaría hacer um, would you like to be in the same company like in five, ten years? Would you like to uh, live in a different country? Would you like to study a different career? Uh, would you like to, I don't know, what, what are your plans? Tell us a little bit about it. Do you have any plan already? Let me just check this out. Okay. 
Um, Gerardo, what are your plans? What are your plans for the future? Well, I would like to to be a boss in my propio, como se dice? Propio. <laughs> in my own. In my own work. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, very no, good. In my work. Company, in my own. In my own. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. So, what type of company would you like to get? What type? I, I have in in my mind. Uh -huh. the the idea the the no sé cómo se dice el, el poner una, una una como un pequeño negocio de, de frozen y de y de cómo se llama y de y smoothies y cosas así oh, okay. cosas, como cosa da bastante como breakfast bar como, uh -huh. como una, como los lugares donde hacen desayunos, like, a, like a sort of breakfast bar. No, no. Eh, o solo smoothies. Sería, smoothies, ajá, sí, como milkshakes. Todo eso, ajá. Oh, ok, ok. But th that sounds amazing. So not exactly, not exactly a cafeteria, sino solamente como de licuados. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like a milkshake stand. Ha visto los que están acá por el hotel. Have you seen the ones eh, close to, creo que es el presidente, close to uh, the hotel president, que son como los food trucks. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, prob probably something like that. Algo así más o menos. Algo así. Uh -huh. Amazing. That sounds great. So, when, when are you planning to get it? Para cuándo? When, when are you planning to get it? Two and three years. Mm -hmm. No, but that's amazing. I really hope you can make it. All right. Sounds great. Sounds great. So, okay. cuando lo tenga, nos avisa. <laughs> so, we, we can be your, your first customers. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Nice. Nice. Guys, what about the rest of you? So, what are your plans? What do you plan to do on the future? Um, let me just check it out. Let me see if somebody's got in there. George, no he escuchado mucho George today. George, George, ¿está por ahí? Probably not. All right. Uh, Janet is right there. Mr. Chacon, what about your plan for the future? Recuerdo el viaje a Guatemala. You remember you mentioned last time Guatemala. Uh, yes, miss. <laughs> what is the plan now? In general, what are your plans uh, for the future? Uh, I would like to uh, have a, bueno, Guatemala, mm -hmm. uh, for visit Dino uh, Park. Ah, yes, okay. Uh, so, Aurora. Mm -hmm. And to see the penguins. Uh, sorry? To see the penguins. Ir a ver a los pingüinos. To see the penguins. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the tapa work. Okay. Nice. Antiguo. No sé un poquito, un poquito todo. Okay, so, but you, would you like to go to Guatemala? That is the plan. Yes, es como a corto plazo, un máximo two three years. Oh, okay. Make it one. <laughs> yeah, so I remember you said, uh, lo tenía ya pensado, right? That there's un tiempo, so you can definitely make it. All right. Eh, es que, bueno, mamá quiere visitar Antigua. Mm -hmm. Y pues, al niño ya, mi hijo tiene ya como cuatro años, ya ella como que entiende un poquito mejor. ¿no? Ay, está pequeño. Sí. Oh, okay. So, pensé que estaba más, más grande. So, he's a baby. No, no, no. Apenas va a cumplir three, three years. Ah, uh -huh. oh, no. So, he's a baby. Probablemente no se recuerde, right? 
Probably that's 16. Por eso, quiero, en cuatro años ya tal vez ya recuerda. Mm, you're, you're happy to, to yeah. wait a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great. What about, uh, well, the second one that says, where would you like to travel? So, Mr. Chacon, you mentioned Guatemala in the short term, como en, en un plazo corto, right? A corto plazo. What about in a long term? A largo plazo? Me? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, travel. Uh... I would like the Europa, the mm -hmm. Italy or Norway. Mm -hmm. It's a Norway, okay. Norway, yeah. Okay. Me podría ser Venice, Italy, Venice. Oh, so when you want to go to Venice sí. too? Okay. So in no, like in, in how long? How long are you planning to? To go there. Yes. ¿En cuánto yes. tiempo? How long? Eh, preguntar a la billetera. <laughs> <laughs> Depende de lo que alcance, right? De los cinco, ja, de unos cinco años hacia mm -hmm. arriba, quizás. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also your baby ya estaría un poco mayor, right? So your baby yes. would be yes. a little older. Oh. Mm -hmm. yes. Tal vez. La selecta llega a algún mundial y le va a dar un partido muy grande. <risa> wow, esos son buenos, esos son planes uh, grandes. <risa> Solo que la selecta pase, right? I would like the, the Salvadorian team also to go to um, an international um, competition, but ese es un plan ya. <risa> ok, a little bit bigger. All right. Guys, vamos a la última yeah. that says, what hobby would you like to do? So I didn't listen to this one before. So guys, what hobby would you like to do? Christian, Gerardo, um, William, tell us, what hobby would you like to do? Do you have a hobby, guys? Gerardo, what's your hobby? Play soccer, my hobby. Okay. Is there another hobby or another activity that you would like to do? Yeah, uh, watch series and anime. Mm -hmm. Any specific one? Which is your favorite? Um, different. I, I don't have uh, one in specific. Okay, so you don't have but, one. Con, con Ulises y Chacón y creo, no sé quién más puede estar aquí. Hay veces que vemos las mismas. Oh, really? Do, do you get oh. together? Se, ¿Se juntan? No. Do you get together uh, in lunch time and watch it together? No. No, porque estamos en diferentes tiendas, pero ah, sí hablamos okay. de, de algunas en específico. Okay. Yeah, because I was talking to William some seconds ago, and William was telling me about, um, oh my God, William, I don't remember. <laughs> William told me about one uh, that was about demons, but um, I forgot it. Demon Slayer. That one. <laughs> so with William, we were talking about it. <laughs> he told me the name in Japanese, but I couldn't get it. <laughs> okay. But but yeah, right. So we definitely have some. All right. Okay. Uh, questions. Super muy buen, eh, you know, muy buen uso de wood. Um, I heard la mayoría utilizando para hablar de life plans a futuro, the things that you would like to do. So super genial. Solamente no se les olvide siempre utilizar un verbo después. I would like to travel. I would like to go. I would like to eat, I would like to read. Lo demás, super, super genial. Um, we are going to finish up today with a little activity here. Que tiene que ver, again, vamos a regresar. We are going to move back. Y hablamos un poquito de reporting, you know, a situation, filing a claim or something like that. Um, les voy a presentar nuevamente la, la conversación that we practiced before, right? Yesterday, hicimos algo similar, we did something similar. Le decíamos o le contábamos al compañero qué problema teníamos with 
eh, technology, right? With a piece of equipment. But today, ya vamos a intentar decirle algunos pasos que pueda tomar. Algo sencillo, right? Something easy, no se complica en la vida tampoco. If you cannot say it in English, pueden decir una palabra en español, but then continue, right? O buscan la palabra en el diccionario para que podamos, you know, try to have it full English. Here, for example, en la presentación o en la conversación primera, the problem was my computer won't turn on. Mi computadora no enciende. Now, guys, podemos utilizar algo similar. Like, my cell phone won't turn on. My printer won't turn on. Y los demás compañeros le damos como algunas, algunos pasos, right, de cosas que podemos hacer. Podemos usar la misma conversación. La pueden cortar un poquito. You can cut it a little bit. Or de, solamente nos explica, right? You try to explain qué es lo que está pasando o cuáles pasos debemos de seguir to fix the situation here. Um, again, no es necesario que vayamos y utilizamos vocabulario complicado or, or anything. So con el vocabulario que ya tenemos, intentemos explicar what is going on y por supuesto dar un par, una, dos y recomendaciones o cosas que podemos hacer, como por ejemplo, solo el uh, eso es acá, right? O oh, try, try to plug it into another socket, um, check the cable, check electricity. I mean, puede ser algo that way, right? Um, allow me just a moment. I'm going to ask you guys to go and join the group one more time para que podamos practicar y luego venimos y la presentamos. Tenemos un par de minutitos. We do have a couple of minutes to do that. So, um, si tienen dudas, porfa, está el botoncito de ayuda y me llama, right? So you call me that way. Vámonos, chicos, let's go there. Preparemos una conversación similar, a very similar conversation. Um, Linda, Luis, me, let me know si podemos entrar. George, si logran ver la invitación, porfa. What happened to you? Well, no sé, Ulises. 
algo que se pase. Ajá, que se tenga. Como arruinado. Ajá, cabrón. Mi laptop. No, <ríe> Pero el laptop es lo que están hablando. Pues, sí. <ríe> ah, vos poner el teléfono. La batería se le está descargando. Voy a poner my cell phone. No charge. No tengo no cell phone. Ah, sí, my cell phone no charge. I, I don't know what's wrong. ¿Qué dijo ella que era plugged? Mm. Ahorita voy a ver. Hey. Esto, plugged is conectado, como enchufado. Enchufado. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's plugged. Gracias. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. Bueno, pero ahí no sería is plugged porque sí conecta, pero no agarra carga. Ah, no le agarra carga. No agarra carga. Uh, no no charge and it's plugged and no, no agarra, ¿cómo sería? O sea, sí conecta, y es plugues, pero no, no agarra. No how, no how. <ríe> no, Podemos usar it doesn't work, que es como bien general. It doesn't work es para no funciona, no sirve, no... Ajá, to, toda la descripción es it doesn't work. This broken. Ajá, uh -huh, it's broken. Como the charger cable is broken, puede ser también, right? Y lo tiramos y ya no lo cambiamos. No funciona nada. <ríe> ok. My cell phone don't charge. I don't know what's wrong. Primero, la, la, quiero ver. ¿Qué le podríamos decir? Que re, la batería, no sé. Que o sea, si no ser. le agarra carga, puede ser la batería. ¿verdad? The battery ah. no, no funciona. Ah, no, pero como, uh -huh. como aquí no vamos a hablar de conectar, porque si lo conectas, pero no te agarra carga. Vale, por ejemplo, podría ser... ¿Qué, ¿Qué aplicaciones tiene que se lo descargan rápido? WhatsApp. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you use your cell phone? Uh -huh. Yo te respondo WhatsApp. ¿Qué más? Uh -huh. What else? WhatsApp. <laughs> Ahí well. está rimando, te diste cuenta, po. Yeah, well, in that case, sería what up, what up. What up. Él contestó what's up. What's up. Yes. I know, I know, that's why. Es una barra. Por eso es que I was like, no, what up. <laughs> ok, uh, pues, en vez de what, en vez de what, puede utilizar which. Which. Which one. Para hacer, oh. uh -huh, which oh. up. No, which uh, es como de cuál, para ser más específico. Which, which, which app cuál? do you have? Which, one, which app do you use mm -hmm. in your cell phone? Exactly, exactly. ¿Y when que es cómo? No, when es cuándo. ¿Cómo es how? How. ¿Mm? Como H-O-W, how. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sigamos. Pues entonces sería algo así como which app uh, app uh, in yourself. Do you eh, inflado por inflar o cómo pues, sería mis como para decirle eh, si la batería no no está inflada. Las baterías de estos nuevos teléfonos se inflan. Bueno, antes pasaba, digamos que tenías un motor en la ventana. <ríe> los de antes sí, lo que se voy a inyectar la batería. Pero no te agarra carga. Los que los de antes necesitaban carbón. ¿Y, lo, y los de ahora, de ones now, 
No, yo no he visto no, que no, se inflen. No. No. Y un solo se, se friegan y ya, ya no saben. Ah, ok. I mean, I'm asking you because, por ejemplo, mi teléfono, yo ya no le puedo remover la batería. Ah, bien, no, bien. A ninguno. Ajá, no sé si todos, todos vienen, vienen así. Tapados. Sí, todos vienen así. Exacto. La mayoría. La because mayoría en mi teléfono anterior lo destartalaba todo. <risa> Ay, yo se miraba. Yes, exactly. But with this one, I have tried. Y todo está como selladito. Everything is kind of sealed up. So ya no se puede. We cannot do it. Por eso le preguntaba si se inflan. Porque entonces se quebraría la pantalla. Mm -hmm. No, pero como si. Es que como ahora. Hagamos casi cuenta que tenemos el motor. El sistema el que se calienta, no la batería. Ajá. Okay. Descartemos la batería ahora. La entrada, la entrada del cable. Es como plugue. ¿no? Eh, con el, el conector. ¿no? Plug. No, pero plug. Enchufado. Ajá. Pero sería más que todo la entrada donde conectar. Sería puerto. Puerto de carga. Port Ajá. charge. <risa> Sería por of loading o loading por loading por Lo, uh, loading charge o so loading charge loading mm -hmm. port también so, okay. cómo revisarlo mm. you can clean the loading port Actually, tiene un nombre here. Se le llama, uh -huh. ya le digo, give me one second. Um, from camera, volume, uh, vibrator. No, eso no, un dock. ¿Es un dock port? Dock port. Yeah, puede ser un dock port o puede ser, tiene otro nombre también, güey. Lo acabo de ver en I Lost It. Um, no, como de doctor, así D O C, Doc Port. D O C K. Ah, con K. Ajá, uh -huh, like a Doc Port. O Doc también Port. se le llama, it has another one. And so, ok, wait. Es un charging. Ya perdí, ya perdí el nombre. I lost the name already. It's a battery, battery charge socket. Mm, Cualquiera de los dos. Como la entrada, ¿verdad? Como el, la conexión. Uh -huh. Debería ser okay. check de dos por. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya tenemos dos opciones de que verifique si es la entrada de carga o las aplicaciones. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for that. I hope you have like a, like a big time, you know, practicing this. So, me gustaría escuchar, tengo dos grupos. I would like to listen to 
any of the groups, you know, si tienen algo pequeño, something short, perfecto, no hay ningún problema. O si quieren improvisar, muchísimo mejor. That's even better. Voluntarios, do we have any volunteers? Okay, so I'm going to go with the group I was with. So that was Ulises, um, Gerardo, and Mr. Chacon, right? Um, guys, ayúdennos con la, la pequeña presentación o la conversación que tenían, por favor. Okay. Okay. Peso. Eh, Dale. What's happening? He says you look frustrated. My cell phone no charge. Here, boy. Uh, what? Uh, no. Which app do you use in your cell phone? In my cell phone is. WhatsApp, Facebook, very up. Don't have another apps that, ¿cómo se decía? Descargar, download <laughs> your, Don't. your battery. Sería consume, that consume your battery. Consume, oh. mm -hmm. consume. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, uh, messenger consume battery. But is normal in your cell phone this? Yes, it's very new cell phone. Is the battery bad. <laughs> Sacó the other question. La del conector. Mm -hmm. La de, de check. Eh, check dog. Se olvidó la otra palabra. What was the word? La de la, de la entrada de carga. Sí, dock. Uh, oh, the dock or the battery. Dock mm -hmm. battery. Yeah. Check dock yes. battery. Hmm? Uh, yes, uh, plugin. 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 Plugin and no charge. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you guys. Very good job. I I like it. I like it. That was like um, the vocabulary that you're using is super bien, you know, very technical. Y esa es la idea, especially because con este tema, we have a lot of technical things. Um, tomorrow, espero que podamos escuchar también el siguiente grupo, right? I hope we can listen to the rest of you guys. Uh, chicos, nos quedan tres clases. <laughs> nos quedan solamente tres clases. Eh, algunos ya me terminaron la plataforma, eh, solamente me faltan like two people. So please guys, cuando tengan tiempito, ayúdenme a completarla. Eh, solamente I want to confirm eh, asistencia. Eh, me hacía falta Janet, pero Janet ya la vi por ahí. And, uh, me hacía falta también George. I was missing George as well. But, y creo que algunos pues ya están afuera, right? But eh, guys, amazing, super buena participación, you know, eh, tomorrow seguimos con este tema, pero aparte de, de hablar de tecnología, vamos también a hablar de algunos problemas de salud para, para como, uh, ya no con tecnología, sino algunos problemas que tenemos si no vamos a trabajar. Así que, please, guys, don't miss it. Don't miss tomorrow's class. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Si van a reunión también, que les vaya súper bien. And see you guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Bye -bye. See you. See you guys. Bye-bye.
Siga durmiendo, mi Soy Chacón. <laughs> so you can continue sleeping there. Bye, guys. Bye.